Hello everyone, this is La Genèse, Friday, July 23rd, 2010. Uh, today, I would like to talk about the origin of thoughts. But uh, as I mentioned in my first video, uh, don't fall in the trap of believing anything I'm going to say in this presentation. Uh, remain critical, but just keep an open mind. So, how does that how does how does that work? The thinking process. Well, before we get into this, we uh, we have to find out where it comes from, where it comes from. So, although the origin of thoughts uh, have been a source of questioning for centuries, uh, science although greatly advanced today, never determined the origin of thoughts because they don't originate from the brain. Some scientists came up with a theory stating that the thinking process was biochemical, but nothing is further from the truth. A thought is uh, energy. It's a form of light reflex that stems from the higher mental body. Um, the higher mental body would be your cosmic counterpart. And that higher mental body is part of the multi-dimensional aspect of a human, a human being. So before that thought or that light reflex reaches the mind, or if you prefer the lower mental body, this thought is uh, distorted because it goes through uh, a filter. That filter is uh, the entities of the astral world, or if you prefer the land of the dead. You may ask, well, why would entities manipulate the thoughts that are being sent to the mind? Well, the answer is quite simple. After death, Humans that enter the astral world see their thinking process suspended. So, in order to balance their own energies and to have a sense of vitality, meaning, meaning uh, to have the sense of feeling alive again, they connect to the minds of the living. The more occult reason behind this process is that humans are being tested constantly on the emotional response to words or thoughts they receive. They receive. Humans only have uh, an experimental consciousness and these tests serve the ego and his learning experience. When the experience of the soul is uh, sufficient then awakening is activated and humans that go through that experience start to understand the game of life and all of its secrets. Entities, the dead people, of the astral world are very jealous of the living because of the waiting period they must uh, endure before their eventual return to the physical world. The learning process of the soul only starts after reincarnation. The ultimate goal of our, our cosmic doubles, uh, our cosmic counterpart, is to be in perfect harmony with the soul, free from any karmic memory, and the ego that is free from the memory of the human race. The illusion of free will regarding the thinking process is the greatest illusion for the unconscious ego. This uh, cosmic lie was necessary in order for the soul to fully experiment the physical reality and to ultimately return to the source from which he came from. In other words, 
we are from the light, then we must return to the light. The experience of the physical reality is only temporary. temporary. Higher densities with higher vibrational levels are the next step in the human evolution. For the unconscious ego, which has no idea about the manipulation within his mind, it's perfectly natural for this ego to believe that he has control over his life, destiny, and thinking process. He therefore uh, he lives his experiences unaware that they are part of the soul's program, the karmic programming. In other words, uh, he must follow a path that was written before incarnation. The unconscious ego must follow the program for he is ignorant of the laws of matter as well as the cosmic laws that oversee the physical experience until the day he starts to integrate his own intelligence, his own light that is part of him. This uh, process may not be chosen by the ego because he has a lot of experiential memories as well as the illusion that he was only he was the only master of his life. This is why the ego must transform and become transparent to allow the intelligence, his own intelligence, to freely come through. If the ego resists to this free flow of light, he reflects this light. And this process will lower the vibration, hence uh, maintaining the astral domination over his own consciousness. So the higher the consciousness level, the less interference is present within the mind. The astral entities or the higher spiritual authorities want to maintain at all costs the domination over mankind to keep them in the infernal cycle of life and death. But there's more to that. We are more than just merely physical beings. We are multidimensional and we must, we must discover all the aspects of our multidimensionality. So this is about it for today. I just uh, felt the need to talk about this subject. So until the next video, peace and light to all.